Hey guys, welcome to the next part of my Japan haul. But first, let me start with something I didn't purchase. This was something that was given to me by Unrested. He is a longtime J vlogger and he actually made this for me and gave it to me at the Osaka Hanami. And I was so pleased with this and I'm gonna treasure this forever. So thank you very much. So first I will start with some snacks. I picked these two up in Arashiyama. These are for my friend Yu and this is a type of mochi that looks like a little envelope kind of. It's like a triangle and on the inside there is some sakura flavored bean paste I believe in this one and this one is green tea flavored. And I think I got these ones at the same store. Um, this one is for you as well and I think I'll be keeping this one even though I've already eaten a box of these. I got this guy at the Disney store in Osaka in like the downtown area. I think this is chip I'm not sure which one is Chippendale, but he's like the Sum Sum style and he's like a bean bag type of thing on the bottom and he's like a squishy pillow and this is the biggest plushie I got in Japan. I got this Sailor Venus pen at Nakano Broadway. This is a little expensive for a pen, granted it was a thousand yen, but it was Sailor Venus and it looks like her transformation wand so I couldn't pass it up. I also got this Umbreon plushie at Nakano Broadway. I believe these are only available in the Crane Machine game but they kind of resell them at one of the stores and this one was really really wrapped up in plastic and I kind of don't like it that much now that I've unwrapped it. It has like this part stitched but all the other yellow bands are almost like these little sticker things so it looks kind of really cheap but the face is really cute so... Also at Nakano Broadway, I got this plushie. It's so cute. I love it. It's a Pokemon. But yeah, this only costs a thousand yen. And as far as like Pokemon stuff goes, that was really cheap. I saw the same one at another store and it was 1500 yen. So I'm really happy I got this one. So I also got these souvenirs at Arashiyama in the same store that I got the mochi in. The couple running the store were so cute. Um, I got this nail file basically because I forgot to bring a nail file with me and I busted this nail off on the first day of my trip. So I kind of needed one. And I also got these two souvenir magnets. This one is a kimono and I thought that was really cute. It's like the actual kimono fabric and then this Tori gate. This Bulbasaur plushie was gifted to me by Charlie and it was part of my big super amazing gift that I didn't do anything to deserve that he gave to me and this is seriously like the softest plushie ever and his name is Caden by the way. I'm not sure why he has that name but that is what Charlie has named him. Yes, he will live with me forever. This is another little plush I got at Nakano Broadway. I was going to get a Totoro but then I saw this and I was like oh my god yes. This is from Spirited Away if you guys remember the little duck spirits that that, well, they're actually really big in the movie. They're these duck spirits that are in one of the baths and they're so cute. I love this. It's got kind of like a weighted bean bag part in the bottom so he sits up really nicely. This one costs about 1100 yen. A little bit expensive for a plushie this small but yeah, like I said in my other videos, I went insane. Honestly, I don't even know how I got all of this stuff home. Like, I, I'm crazy. Just wait, you haven't seen most of it yet. Here's another thing I got at the Disney store. It is a Zootopia face cloth and it's, I think her name's Judy in the movie. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, the bunny in it and um, I just thought it was really cute. It has this little ear detail on the corner. And I got these bunny Tsum Tsum plushies at the Disney store. I was like planning on getting these while I was in Japan. So I was really happy that I got these, like not that they were hard to find or anything, but yeah. So this is the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And this is Thumper from Bambi. And this is Oswald. He is from like the old 1920s or 30s cartoons. And he's like Mickey's, um, I don't know, like enemy or rival or something like that, but I thought the Sum Sum was really cute. And at the Disney store, they gave me this sheet of Zootopia stickers. I also bought these chopsticks. I don't know why I was compelled to buy uh, this mismatched set instead of buying a set of both, but this one is Miss Bunny and I'm not totally sure who that is or what she's from, but they had a bunch of Miss Bunny merchandise at the Disney store. And then this one is the White Rabbit. Um, they didn't have any Thumper ones, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to use these. Like, they're really different. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Charlie also gave me a bunch of gachapon. I was totally spoiled. <laughs> he gave me so many things. So this one is Sailor Moon. I'm not sure if you're supposed to fill these with water. Someone let me know. I think they're supposed to be like a snow globe type of thing because there's glitter, um, star glitter on the inside and there's like this little cap on it. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to open that and put water on it or if it's just supposed to be 
like this, I don't know. And I also got this Sailor Moon um, brooch looking thing, or, well, it's, it's from Sailor Moon, but it's Sailor Mars, and I really like Sailor Mars, so that one is cool. I got a bunch from Charlie of these Pokemon gacha, where they're, it's like a series where they're sleeping. So this one is Riolu, and these ones are really, really well made. I really like these. They're like very nicely painted and stuff, like, and two more of the sleeping Pokemon, Trico and Torchic, I want to say. And this little poodle puppy in like a donut or something. This is from a Disney series, um, similar to the Pokemon series. And I think this is the, one of the kittens from uh, Aristocats. And here's the other puppy pastry Charlie gave me. And the sleeping bug kib, and this is like my favorite thing ever. It's so cute. It's got like a flat side on one side so it can lay down properly. And yeah, the painting on it is just so good, like I was saying. So yeah, I, I love this gacha. This stitch one is really cute too. I love stitch. These are really hard to show on camera, I'm sorry. And this Pokemon that's part of the sleeping collection. I forget this one's name. And then another one of these Sailor Moon glitter globe things. Again, I don't remember if this is one of the ones that Charlie gave me or if it's one of the ones I got later on. Um, I tried to keep them separate, but they've gotten mixed up. And then there's this Pikachu gacha from Charlie, and yeah, this one is so super cute. So this next thing I actually found, and before you get mad at me, um, there was no one else around. I found this in Chiba Park. So yeah, this is a bento box with Pikachu on it, obviously. And there seriously was no one else in the park. There was no kids around, so I think he'd been left there like overnight. It was raining that day, so no one was around uh, doing Hanami or anything. So I just took it um, and I washed it, and I'm gonna give this to Allie because she's a huge. Pokemon fan and I actually got a lot of stuff for her that I'm gonna be showing you most of the Pokemon stuff that I picked up will be going to her so yeah don't judge me this is another thing I didn't buy and this thing is absolutely awesome to me this is a YouTube mug and I got this from Hiko Saimon at the Tokyo Hanami so thank you so much Hiko I really love this it says creator community in Katakana right there yeah this is like my new favorite mug I love it so I went to Lush I can't remember if it's like part of Harajuku or it's like in between Harajuku and Shibuya yeah, but it's a pretty big Lush store. It's two stories high and there was a girl working there who I think she was probably like half Japanese um, but she spoke English really well with like a French accent I want to say. She showed me some like limited edition items that they had there and I picked up this caramel soap. It smells really good and I also got this honey I wash my hair shampoo bar and it smells pretty much like honey and just like really fresh and I'm pretty sure you can buy this here, but I've never seen it in the stores like the store we have here hardly ever has anything in stock, so. Then I picked up this. I've never seen this before. I can't remember if she said it was exclusive or limited edition, but this is a massage bar and it is shades of Earl Grey. So it's Earl Grey scented. There's some other like really strong scent in there that I want to say is like lilac or something. It's, it's almost like a floral scent. It's not that sweet, but yeah, one of the Airbnbs we stayed in smelled really, really bad. So I actually put this like next to my bed. So it kind of like covered up the gross smell I was sleeping. The girl working there also gave me this sample of American Cream. It's a hair conditioner and I ended up not really liking it that much. So uh, I am glad that she gave me the sample before I bought it. Uh, I picked up this chocolate egg for Ali. It is kind of like a kinder egg. It has a Pokemon toy or something in it. I got this at like a candy store in Ueno, I think. I got these Pokemon gacha the first night I was in Japan. The hotel I was in actually had these gacha <laughs> in like the front lobby basically. I got a duplicate of Pikachu so I'm gonna keep this one but these ones are all gonna go to Ali. Since she's a Pokemon super fan, I know she will give them a better home than I will. There was a Mew that I was trying to get from this set, but I ran out of coins and once I got the duplicate, I was kind of done. I also got this Sailor Mars wand gacha and I got a duplicate of it. So this one is for you, Tammy. This is so random, but at a cafe, we went to an Osaka. They gave us these samples. I think they're all from DHC. So it's like a sunscreen or cleansing oil, face wash, uh, and another sunscreen. So these are, other Sailor Moon Gacha, they are like little compacts, but they don't have anything inside. So this one is 
another one from my hotel <laughs> gotcha machines and then this one i got at a gotcha by the sailor moon cafe there was a bunch of different sailor moon gotcha machines um outside the cafe so this is a guretama gotcha keychain and all of the guretama ones in tokyo well all the ones that i found seemed to be sold out and then finally i found one that had some in kyoto and of course i got the bum one <laughs> but it's really cute you can still see his face if you look up under the shell and then i got a lot of sum sum keychains so at the arcade games you can put in 500 yen and keychain will come out and then you can play with the keychain in the game so they're pretty expensive 500 yen is you know a lot for a gacha and of course i didn't end up getting any of the ones that i really wanted so yeah i got two of dumbo they have varied faces though like this one's like sad face and this is normal and then i got one of this thing from big hero 6 and these ones i actually really like but of course i wanted the bunny ones but this is chip and dale and this one has like the winky tongue outy face variation yeah there's that guy that guy so those ones are super cute this one is another sailor moon glitter thing and this is the sailor uranus one and i got this outside the sailor moon cafe where i ended up getting like three sailor uranus gotcha like one after the other and i was really pissed off not that i hate her but i was like why <laughs> i also got her wand sorry it's still like wrapped up but yeah I, this is the one i got a duplicate of i got this bunny gotcha at nakano broadway at one of the stores that resells them so like you can pick the one you want obviously here's another one from the sailor moon cafe it's sailor moon's wand or one of her wands and it's actually a magnet so that's really cute in harajuku i found this animal crossing gacha and i only got two from it because i thought well, this is kind of early on in my trip i thought i would encounter it again but i actually didn't so i wish i got more but i got some really cute ones from it i got this dog I don't know his name and then isabel and they're super cute here's another one from the sailor moon cafe it's a keychain and it's like transparent right there this one i kept wrapped up it's a bunny and it comes with like a little mug with a carrot on it but yeah i just kept it wrapped to keep the pieces together until i'm ready to like put it somewhere and here's another snack thing i bought this at the airport for my friend melina these are tokyo banana they're like these little pastry snacks i think i've never had these but like everyone gets these when they go to japan so i thought why not they're probably really good oh my god i'm dying so i'll show you this bag this is part of a gift that victor gave me i'm not trying to make people jealous but I'm not the only one victor gave presents to he he gave stuff to like a lot of his subscribers a while ago and i think he like announced who everyone was in the video he sent my gift to scott um unrested who very kindly passed it to me at the hanami so he gave me like a relakuma package so it included this bag as well as this really cute travel mug it's like this series where it's the characters dressed up as cats and it says it's a time to relax with cute cats and then it also came with a letter and oh no it's taped but um okay it's gotten stuck so i don't want to rip it but it also came with a relakuma calendar inside here so thank you victor for that i don't remember where i bought this but this is a little cat plushie i got for my friend you and i got it because it looks like one of her cats and this is from a series called neko dongo i got a bunch of different masks from don quixote this one i'm hoping is the kind that warms up i can't read anything on this other than like bear <laughs> So I'm hoping this is the kind that warms up because I heard that's like really relaxing to put on before you go to bed, but it's like the under eye mask. This one is a pack of masks. They are vitamin C sheet masks. And then this one is like that kind that rips the blackheads out of your face. <laughs> This one is a choosy lip mask and it's supposed to be like moisturizing on your lips, I guess. Uh, I might actually save this for winter. What the hell? <laughs> It has a picture in the back of a girl like putting it on her nipples. So apparently you can put this on your boobs. I don't know. And then another one of these bare under eye masks. I think this is the cool one. So I thought that'd be good for when I get like really itchy eyes from allergies. I also got this pack of Sailor Moon masks. And I also got these snacks at Don Quixote. They are like little rice wafers with green tea flavored stuff inside. They're not that good, but yeah. 
I actually bought three boxes of these. These are like my favorite thing ever. The chocolate is so good and these cost like almost double in Canada. You can't buy them at Asian supermarkets, but yeah, I, I ate the other two already, so. And another one you can buy here in Canada, but it was a lot cheaper in Japan. I got this at a grocery store. I got some powdered tea at the same store in Arashiyama. This is green tea with milk. I haven't actually tried this yet, but yeah, it's an instant powder. This one, I'm not totally sure what kind of tea it is, but I bought this for my friend Yu. And it's pink, and I know she really likes pink, so I thought like the can itself would just be like a really nice souvenir type of thing. So in that bag, that was actually extent of the like beauty stuff that I bought in Japan. So if you found that really boring, um, don't worry, it's over now. Also, I don't remember if I already mentioned this, but I didn't buy any clothes while I was in Japan. I wasn't shopping for that stuff so much. Like, I didn't get that much of a chance to shop for clothes and everything. If you came here to this video looking for that, uh, goodbye, I guess. This is the Pokemon Center bag, and there's a bunch of stuff in here I put from other places, but most of the stuff I got at the Pokemon Center I got for Ali. Honestly, I forgot most of the stuff that I bought. And this got really banged up, but this is um, a free thing I picked up at a train station, and it's just advertising this. Oh, the, yeah, it's like designed to look like an Ava unit, kind of. But yeah, I thought it was just cool. It has this illustration of the pilots wearing like street clothes. I got this at Nakano Broadway. It's a Sailor Moon iPhone 6 case. I have a Sailor Moon case on my phone right now, but I actually busted the corner off of it, like, Right when I got to Japan, I dropped my phone on like a hard tiled floor. These are some souvenir things I got at the Sailor Moon Cafe. They're clear files. When you ordered food there, you could pay an extra like 400 yen and then get one of the collectible clear files. In Japan, they call these like kudia file, I don't know. But yeah, they're basically just these little like plastic folders. And yeah, I put all of the Sailor Moon collectible things in here. You get these things when you order one of the food plates, I think. So I went to the new Kyoto Pokemon Center and they give you this really cute postcard thing when you spend a certain amount. And that's going to Ali, of course. And this is the main thing I think I went there for. She really wanted this kimono Pikachu and it's the girl Pikachu and it's really, really cute. So yeah, there's that plushie. I bought this for myself at the Pokemon Center. It's so cute. It's this P um and not Pikachu, uh, <laughs> Mudkip plushy keychain, and it's so soft. Like, I don't know how the Pokemon plushies are so soft, but they're like softest things in the world. I just love how cute this is. So this is some other stuff I picked up at the Pokemon Center. They put it all in another bag. I'm not really sure why. I got this Raichu washcloth, washcloth for Ali. Raichu is her favorite Pokemon, so I, I couldn't resist most of the Raichu stuff in there. I got one of these blind pack things. It's like a tin sh kind of egg shaped and you can get one of these designs on it. So that's for Ali too, so I didn't open it. And I also got her this Raichu phone strap thing. And also this pin that is Raichu. I got her these Kyoto Pikachus. They're, I'm not totally sure what they're for. They're just like these little clear plastic things. I also got her the charm set that matches and the sticker set of Raichu. Oh, even this little bag is so cute. It has like a pattern on it of the starters. And I also got her five packs of cards. And with those, you could get an exclusive card. So there's two different ones. The other one, I wasn't familiar with what was on it. I think it was like a legend Dairy. I don't remember what it was, but of course I picked this one. This is like the Kyoto Pikachus. It's so cute. Um, and I know this is the one she wanted too, so. Okay, I had to switch cameras, so I apologize for the sudden change in audio and everything. Okay, I'm getting really tired too. I'm almost done, I think. So I picked up these clear files for Ali at the Pokemon Center as well. These Pikachu ones with like this exclusive Kyoto one. I picked up this gacha for Molina. It's like, I think it's a cookie cutter, but I don't know. And it's Rakuma. I got this Pokemon for my friend Yu. It's just like a little hollow figure. Oh my god, cutest thing ever. My boyfriend bought this for me at the Disney store. This is like a little sleeping chip keychain. It's so cute. So I got a set of um, card captor Sakura mini figures. I purchased them all separately, but here's her friend. I forget her name. And Hero, uh, this one was quite expensive, it was a thousand yen, I'm guessing because it's more rare than the other ones. These ones were like 300 yen, the Sakura one, 
And then this Lee was a little bit more expensive too, 650 yen. All this stuff is from Nakano Broadway. This one, ugh, I don't know why I got this such a ripoff. 600 yen for this, but it's a little bunny gacha um, with like a bunny shaped um, daifuku and it comes in like a bento box, I think. I don't know, I haven't opened this one yet. I picked up this Sailor Pluto. Yeah, minifigure. I have um, all of the Sailor Scouts now from this. Um, not this particular series. I have them kind of split between the school uniform series and then this like transformation uniform. But yeah, I have one of each of them now and I don't have tuxedo masks. I was really happy because I was trying to remember which ones I already had and I was pretty much positive I didn't have her and I was right. I got a couple more Animal Crossing figures. I think these are gacha as well, but I picked them up from like reseller stores in Nakano Broadway. So I got this really cute squirrel and then the kicks guy I forget his name but he's the guy that works in the shoe store then I got this um, tanuki I really wanted tanuki souvenir and right outside our house in Kyoto there one of the neighbors had a tanuki like this I was like laying down I thought it was really funny so yeah I picked up this one this is a Sailor Moon clip I'm not sure if you'd like can just use it in your kitchen to like clip bags of stuff. There was a few different ones, but they're really expensive. Like this was 500 yen and it's just like a crappy little plastic clip. So I just got one. Another Animal Crossing thing. This is a cell phone strap and it's one of the Able sisters. Oh my God, this is like the one time that, well, other than the Animal Crossing one that the gacha machines actually like worked out for me. So <laughs> this was in Nakano Broadway as well. And there, there's a room where it's a lot of different gacha machines. Well, not a lot, but like a good amount of different gacha machines. They actually had a Fruits Basket one and I was really surprised because Fruits Basket is kind of old by now but it's one of my favorite anime and I got the two that I really wanted so I got Yuki and he's wearing like his little rat hat and I also got this guy I think his name is Haru something like that I forget but like I'm pretty sure this one is like the rare one from the set so I got Yuki first and I was like I'll try one more time and I got him and yes I was so happy. From one of the stores in Nakano Broadway I purchased an Eevee toy. It was like a blind box and you could get a little figure of all of the Eevee Lucians and I happened to get Eevee so I was kind of like disappointed I didn't get one of the cool ones but it's actually really really cute so yeah I really like this. Um, it comes with this stand that says Eevee doll but it doesn't like attach to the stand anyway so that's a little annoying but yeah the figure is really well made and it's like solid so it's really heavy it's not like a hollow figure okay these you guys don't even understand like how many times we tried to do like claw machines the ufo catchers and never ever do we win until we were heading into Nakano Broadway. Tried this one, it was Rilakkuma, and this is like the second last day of our trip, so like finally <laughs> we won. So my boyfriend won, won me this one. At first I was like, this isn't even Rilakkuma, but um, it actually is, it has like the tag on it, so I didn't even know about this character, I have no idea what he is. Yeah, it's still really cute. It's actually, I think it's the cuter of the two that I got, and then I won this one right after. And this is Rilakkuma, and he's holding something, I don't know what that's supposed to be, I think it's either like a toy submarine or like an ocarina or something like that. Oh, it's it's, it's such a good feeling when you finally win at the <laughs> crane machines. Okay, th this is so weird, but I'm like <laughs> so proud of these, I don't know why. At the convenience store near our house in Kyoto, they had an Evangelion like lottery. So they had all these prizes set out and you had to buy a ticket and then they would like give you one of those crack open lottery tickets and it would have a letter on it and that corresponded to one of the prizes. So I bought a ticket and they're a little expensive. It was like 640 yen or something like that. And I really wanted one of the figures. They had um, an Asuka and a Ray figure. But yeah, so I ended up getting these socks <laughs> and I can't even tell what they are. Like, is it supposed to be one of the Ava units or an angel? I think this is an Ava unit, right? Why did I just put that on my hand? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I won. And it was really funny because I didn't know that it was a lottery at first, like there was no price tags, but there was also no sign saying like it was a, um, a lottery type of thing. So I asked the girl working there, my like terrible Japanese, like, are these for sale? And then she was like, uh, uh, and then she like explained to me like as simply as she could that it was, you had to like buy a ticket and then you win one of the things. <laughs> uh, she's like, do you understand? I was like, uh. Kinda, and yeah, but anyway, eventually we worked it out, and yes, these are my new 
We have Magellan socks. Here's another thing I got for Ali. I think this is the last thing. But this is from KFC and she asked for this. So this is like a little Pokemon figure that you can get um, that goes on your straw. It's one of these figures. She asked for the Froki one, but um, it ended up being in like a blind bag. So I don't know what it is. I've been trying to like feel it and figure out what it is. And all I can feel are like the big ears. Pikachu, Finn, I think his name is. Fennekin, Froakie. That new Eevee, what is it called? Espeon? I forget. Uh, and Pancham, so I don't think it's that one. So I purchased this Evangelion figure at Nakano Broadway. This is Kaoru. Um, I really wanted an Asuka figure, she's my favorite character, but all of them looked really weird, like I seriously was looking at them for so long, and it's just, none of them actually look like her, like the face was painted really weird, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but yeah, that's him, and he comes with a stand, so then I got these two Sailor Moon gacha at the, this one's upside down, at the cafe, and these are supposed to light up, and this one doesn't even work, like right out of the, the case, it doesn't work, then I tried again, and I got this one, and it actually does light up, I don't know if you can tell that it's lighting up, then I got this Eevee gacha, isn't it so cute, I think um, I bought this at Nakano Broadway in a reseller, so it wasn't an actual gacha machine. Yeah, all of them in this series are so, so cute. And lastly, oh my god, this is the final thing. It's kind of anticlimactic. Um, I got this gacha of, what is his name? I don't know, it's from Cardcaptor Sakura. I wish I got more of these because they were all so cute. Like, a lot of times in the gacha machines, there's like one or two that you really don't want to get. All of them were so cute, and I wish I got more. There was other ones with Kiro. Okay, I forgot to show you guys a few things when I had to switch cameras, so most of it is Pokemon stuff for Ali. <laughs> uh, I got her this pin, and this is like, I don't know, near the end of the day at Nakano Broadway, and I was like, okay, I'm running out of cash, I can't buy any more stuff, and I was like, how can I not get this? It's so cute. And I got her this keychain, it's Pikachu um, from that series where the Pokemon are in those like sleeping bag things. And this strap I thought was so adorable of Pikachu. And this, like there was no way I couldn't get this, it's all these girl Pikachus which she loves. So yeah, that's also from Nakano Broadway. And then I think this is the last thing I forgot, but I think I showed this in a vlog, but I got a magazine that came with a Sailor Moon item and there was like, there was two different things, so this is the thing I ended up getting. And um, I like the illustration on it, it's like one of the original manga illustrations, but it's just like this um, vinyl pouch, it's like a Ziploc baggie, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but yeah. That's it. So that is everything I got in Japan other than like the snacks that I ate already. I'm so tired. I'm sorry if I'm talking like a dead guy right now, but I just recorded probably like three hours of footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'll show you the rest of the things that I got at Tower Records and all these are brand new. So they're not used or anything like that. So for the longest time, I thought I already had this. I don't know why. So it never was on any of my wish lists, and I was never shopping for this. But before I went to Japan, I actually went through my entire J-pop collection and made a list of everything on my